Hey everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear. We've got some tactical leg holsters up on the table today. These are from Condor and this is their Condor tactical leg holster. We've got a couple of different colors we can choose from right here. We're gonna go through the holsters real quick, give you an idea what you're getting with them. They are kind of straightforward, just like a tactical leg holster would be. Adjustability is there, holds an extra magazine, hold a multitude of different guns inside of there. Um, and then it's got some, you know, straps for your legs and for your going up to a belt and things like that. So let's kind of take a gander. We'll use, uh, we'll kind of go with this coyote curl color right here so we can see what we're working with. It's easy to see. So up at the top, starting up here, you've got um, a system, a belt system that is going to go up and attach to a couple different things that get attached to. So again, this is gonna be on the side of your leg. So this is a leg holster, a tactical leg holster right here. So it's gonna to attach to either your belt that's around your waist or the bottom of a vest system that has a belt built into the vest. Um, I would probably go off of that one first because the weight of this is going to be attached to the vest, which is then over your shoulders. If you put this up around the belt that would go around your waist in your pants, possibly, it still will work, you can do it, but then you're relying on the weight being, um, basically being held by the belt of your pants. So as this pull wants to pull your belt down, it's gonna to wanna to pull your pants down too. So it, it will still work. Just make sure your belt is tight and it's not gonna fall down or anything like that. And you're wearing proper fitting clothing. Uh, but if you put this up to a load bearing vest and the belt around the bottom of the load bearing vest, this is gonna hold on uh, a lot easier. And therefore the weight of the belt and or the weight of the holster and the gun is uh, attached to the load bearing vest. So it's distributed across the vest rather than around the belt around your waist, if that makes sense. Hopefully I explained that somewhat intelligently. Didn't sound like I did. Uh, anywho, uh, so that's what this top section is gonna be for here. It does come undone so that you can easily put this around the waist or around your load bearing vest and then snap it together. Or if you just need to take it off and you don't wanna have to undo the whole part that's attached to your belt, you can just unsnap it and then take it off that way. So it's, it's easy to set up and easy to take off right there. Uh, this is adjustable as well. So depending on the length from where you want it on your leg to where it happens to be on your waist or the belt, you can adjust this up and down. Now the holster itself is a right-handed holster. So if you wanna to try to put this on your left-hand side, it won't work. It's not a left-hand side leg holster, it's right-handed. Uh, this is stitched on right here so you can't flip it around or change it. We've got a snap right here. And then also we've got a Velcro to come over the top. So to, you know, double safety kind of set up right there. Or if you only wanted to do the Velcro, you could get this one out of the way and just come over the top with the Velcro, however you want to do it. Most people are running the double snap or the double secured system just to make sure that there's no issues. And again, this is adjustable as well. So if you've got a gun in here that sits up higher and you need to make the strap or loop longer, you can do that. You can boop up and around there and we'll actually show you that in just a second uh, that we've set that up. On the front side right here, we've got a little uh, expansion slot for um, a magazine if you have an extra mag and that is removable. So if you don't want anything securing the mag in place, you can do that. Or if you have a shorter mag, you could put that further down inside. You've got a taller magazine, you could lengthen this out um, and then make the strap a little bit higher on the outside, depending on how you need to uh, secure whatever you're trying to put inside there. So again, adjustable extra mag slot as well. This is where you would adjust the loop coming up over the top of the pistol. And then we've got our leg straps in here. These are going to go around your thigh and hold this in place. The inside of each strap, actually it's on the outside too, they must just stick it on there, um, is rubberized right there. So it's gonna give you a little bit of grip on your legs to keep this thing from moving up and down. When wearing this, you definitely want to secure this up to your belt. If you try to just run this holster with the leg straps only, it will fall off. So this is a necessity. You need to secure this up to the top. Otherwise you'll secure this around your leg. You'll take 10, 15 steps and it'll bloop, it'll slide right down. So don't rely on this part to keep it attached to your body. This is what's holding it up. 
This is what keeps it secure against your leg. Uh, these also have snaps or clasps or clips or whatever you want to call them so that you can easily adjust and take them off. Now, as far as pistols go, we've got a couple different sizes right here. We got this mama jama. We can put that in there. That'll go around. You can see the length of that. It's got a really long front to it, but because the bottom is open, they can stick on through the other side. We've got this one right here, which is kind of like your traditional Glock looking right here. It's a Glock 17. That goes right in. And then we can secure that. We wouldn't even need to really adjust that too much. It's ready to go. And it looks like we've got a smaller version over here. This is a 19. Drops right in, of course. Body size is gonna be the same. The length of the barrel is slightly different on that one. But maybe you're into paintball and not into airsoft. You can get something a little bit bigger like this. Like it's a first strike FSC pistol. It fits in right there, but look at this. That's not gonna make it over the top right there. So this one over here, we've lengthened the loop on the top to accommodate that kind of setup. So now we've got that pistol in there. We can come over the top and even snap that together. If I can see it, there it is. And then we can even Velcro over the top right there. So there are options as far as what you can fit inside of there, going from a really thick gun to thinner guns, standard guns, whatever it happens to be. You've got a lot of leeway and a lot of potential when it comes to a setup like that. Let's see if this will fit up there. Didn't check this. So this is a pistol mag. That's not gonna fit in there. So the gun will fit inside there. You're gonna have to come up with a different system to get a magazine fitting in there. And that's kind of the way paintball mags are gonna work. Cause you're shooting a much bigger round out of a paintball mag there. But at least you could fit the gun in there. And then you could come up with a, you know, your vest system to hold your mags or something like that. So the Condor Tactical leg holster right here, four different colors. We've got this one right here, which they call Scorpion. Um, looks like multicam, but you, maybe they're not allowed to call it multicam. I don't know. Or maybe it's subtly different than multicam and they call it Scorpion. I'm not sure. Um, but that's this color that they're calling it right there, Scorpion. And then we've got the Coyote Brown color right there. We've got a black and then we've got your olive drab right there. So uh, definitely a well-constructed leg holster right here. The Condor Tactical Leg Holster, it's available through the website. Order yours now through ansgear.com.